It is hot everywhere in Albuquerque during the summer, but the city wanted to know what parts of town get the hottest. So they created a heat map. News 13's George Gonzalez is live downtown with a look at the hot spots and what the city would like to do to cool them down. George. The city did the heat mapping project back in J July, and they found that the downtown area was one of the warmest. Now, they also found that low income neighborhoods can get pretty hot. Especially in some low income communities, we're seeing a lack of tree canopy or lots of con a huge concentration of asphalt. And so it's really great for us to be able to better understand where the most, uh, where the greatest needs are within our community. Now, the city used a $17,000 grant from the National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration to send volunteers around town with temperature gauges mounted onto their cars and bikes. Now, they also collected data in more than 67,000 spots and found some places are 10 to 17 degrees warmer than the other parts of the city, depending on the time of day. Now, the downtown area and its sea of asphalt and buildings has consistently higher heat readings, same with the areas along with both interstates. Now, the city will use the study to target areas that need some cooling off. Knowing that we can implement tree canopies, that we can create new shade structures, that can make a real serious difference in trying to address some of these disparities in the city and try to bring Albuquerque down to a safer level of temperature. Now, the Keller administration is pushing to plant a thousand trees across the city. Now, they're also pushing for more electric buses. Now, you can also check out more on these heat maps on our website on KRQE.com. Back to you. All right, thank you, George. The city is also looking into products that keep asphalt cooler and release the heat they absorb at night.